And now we wake up. <laughs> I jump to my feet off the couch. My head throbs painfully. The chaos doesn't stop, and the room that I should already be used to appears as though a battlefield in the middle of a bombing. <laughs> Standing up, I run while swinging my right arm. I move my arm as recklessly as a person on fire and head to a corner of the room while shaking off my delusions. <laughs> and in the corner, there is my servant sitting down like always. I have neither the composure nor affection to answer him. I push him aside, having no clue what I'm trying to do myself, and stand in front of the mirror. <sighs> the figure looking back at me is exactly the same as it was back when I stood here for the first time. There are no irregularities. There's nothing wrong with me whatsoever. But if I remember correctly, when I first saw this mirror, I felt uneasy. What happened to that arm of yours? I feel dizzy. Something that was locked away comes pouring out. That's right. I noticed it at the time. There's something extra on the me reflected in the mirror. And something that should be there is missing. What made that uneasiness so vague? I wanna know what happened to her arm. Wasn't that the servant that's now laughing behind me? I keep staring at the reflection in the mirror. My disordered mind, unable to bear the concentration, sends me into another bout of vertigo. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would show uh, Avengers' uh, reflection if he had one or not, because it would actually show whatever shoe form is, I believe. And there within my vision flashing on and off, I see a terrible image. I didn't see anything. Damn. My ragged breathing starts to calm down. I touch my left arm with my right hand. It's only an illusion. The left arm is certainly there. But so is a lingering feeling of discomfort that I can't seem to erase. Yeah, can you perhaps tell me what's wrong with it? A voice from behind me. My mind having just settled down picks up speed once again. I turn around. Opening my eyes, I look firmly at him. Ah, he has an appearance now. The boy laughs like a clown. Wait, he has no hands. Yo, it's just like his story. The, the villagers just cut off limbs. His limbs. Oh no, he does have hands. It's bandaged. Okay. That face. Perhaps it might be familiar to someone other than me. So the color of the bandages were the same colors as the carpet carpeting, which made me believe he had no hands. Okay. Interesting. He knows. This servant knew everything from the beginning. I realized that long ago, yet I still... I still wanted to trust this servant. I mean, I kind of figured that. そんなのはすぐに気づいたはずだ。なのに自分をごまかして記憶さえ閉じ込めて一生懸命おままごとを続けやがった。しかしまあ、それもこれですっきりだ。もういいだろう、マスター。この茶番はさ、聖杯戦
引退した連中を引き戻して遊んでいるだけってわけだ Wicked laughter He's getting on my nerves He's getting on my nerves He's getting on my nerves Getting on my nerves 私を私を騙していたのかアベンジャー人聞きの悪い単にあんたが聞かなかっただけだろう5回目の聖杯戦争がどうなったのかを聞いてくれればあんたがどうやって殺されたか教えてやったのにうん、I'm gonna assume that white center means she died too unless proven otherwise It hurts My chaos filled head hurts My, eye, my eyeballs that glare at him hurt. My disordered breathing hurts. And above all, a throbbing pain in my left arm as if it's just been amputated. The shadow holds his hand out. The feeling in my left arm shoots through my brain. I trusted him. I thought of him as a comrade. The moment I let loose those words, I lose all rational thought. <clears throat> ah, something got in my throat. Just being there, unable to bear even my own existence, I ran out, my feet taking me somewhere on their own, as if just running away. My torn memories, the left arm spilling invisible blood, they had taken all rational thought away from me. I can't remember. I certainly heard it, yet I still can't recall the conversation I had with that girl. Dead, she said. Someone had died and the Fifth Holy Grail War was over. Died? Who? I'll tell you who, Kotomine. I fled back then too. Not even hearing that the Holy Grail War ended was enough to disturb me. So how did such a trifle end? Oh, okay. So how did such a trifle end up destroying me so thoroughly? I run. I have nowhere to go yet. I'm running towards one very certain place. My left arm feels like it's being torn off. The sense of pain invades my mind, causing endless chaos and confusion. I, who left my hometown, an antique that had no place in the association. I was driven further and further into a corner as I tried to find my worth and could not. After leaving my hometown far behind, I then realized just how much I loved it, yet I could not go back. I had nothing definite, my own self was still vague. I built up an imposing exterior and nothing more. And on that day, for the first time, I saw a strength I could rely on. Not needing anyone. I selfishly admired that, thinking how much easier my life would be if I could just be the same. <laughs> I cringe in pain. I have morphine in my bag. This would be the first time I've ever wanted a painkiller. But I can't inject it into my left arm, so I'd rather have it right in my spine. That way, it would hit my brain right away and I can forget everything. Forget? Forget it. Forget all about it. I don't want to hear about who died. I came to this town as a master. I couldn't care less about that man. Ah, but why was I the one chosen? Bazet Fraga Rakmemet is a sealing designation enforcer. Any way you slice it, a Holy Grail war in a faraway eastern land is definitely outside of her jurisdiction. There has to be a reason. There has to be another reason I'm here. That reason made me so happy. I was so happy to be able to meet him again after all these years. I was. I. I'm a mess. Who died? I'm a mess. Who died? I'm a mess. Who died? Oh. How wonderful I can hear a silver colored song. I thought I said sliver. I'm finally here, the place that I never entered up until now, the place I wanted to visit for a long, long time. From what I've heard, it's a small yet elegant chapel. 
he abstained from luxury and lived a life of self-imposed stringency. I'm sure the building would be very much like him. Gloomy decorations, attention in the air, these were all aspects of him. The vestiges of the man I trusted, making me nostalgic just by thinking about it. Ah, uh, why didn't I come sooner? This is where I'll find him. In the Fifth Holy Grail War, the priest will always welcome those who visit this church and... Ah, this isn't what I heard. Nothing but ruins and an unfamiliar girl waiting for me in his place. <laughs> the pain is at its climax. It's as if my left arm is falling off. Don't take that too personally, Bazet. He never really loved anyone anyway. He ain't that kind of guy. Oh, you're taking it really personally. Okay, but just letting you know, he's different. I was chosen because of the recommendation he gave me. Not even the vulgar sarcasm of the association fazed me. I was happy to be chosen by the man that never chose anyone. <gasps> but we never continued from where we left off last time. Mixing business and personal affairs would only disappoint him. Having recognized my abilities, he recommended me as a master. Therefore, when I met him, he would be as the victor. I intended to see him only after winning the Holy Grail War. <laughs> Everything was going smoothly. I made a contract with the ideal servant and set up my base in a western-style mansion which had been used by Magus before. Soon, all seven masters would be present. As I was preparing for the upcoming battle, he came to visit me in that room and... Oh... Ah, that's also more like him too. He killed me. I remembered. Those were my last moments. The fate of one miserable master that was called to the Holy Grail War, yet never had the chance to participate in it. It's exactly as Avenger says. Kotamina attacked me from behind and I was on the verge of death. My left arm holding the command spells had been torn off, and I was left alone in that mansion. My wound would bring death if I moved even slightly. Yet it was also a fatal wound that would eventually kill me if I didn't. Barely alive, I made a wish from the bottom of the consciousness that was running out together with my blood. Not for revenge. With death overtaking me, I had no room for anger at being betrayed. Nor was it despair. My dimming mind felt no sadness at the betrayal. At that moment, I had but one thought remaining in my heart. I don't want to die. I don't want to die in a place like this. I don't want to die in such a pitiful way. I can't bear dying alone like this. Time had stopped, more than halfway towards death. I kept on screaming until the remains of my life were all used up. And then... A mysterious and unfamiliar something. Angra Mainyu happened to hear me. It was most likely what used to be the Holy Grail. The formless void inside the Holy Grail smashed by the winner of the Fifth Holy Grail War. By all rights, once the Grail has been destroyed, it ought to have returned to the Throne of Heroes. But that thing lived inside the Holy Grail. No, inside the wish-granting Grail, it had finally taken the form of the hero everyone had wished it to be. It was a servant reborn inside the Holy Grail. The one called all evil in the world, having become the demonic grail that grants people's wishes, had answered my call. However, much of the embodiment of the Holy Grail he may be, he was a servant, 
Without a master, he would disappear. To an impossible miracle, an accident that would never happen again, he had finally become the hero that everyone wished him to be, and yet, he would disappear having lasted not even one night. Our mutual interest happened to coincide in the fact that neither one of us had a future. Well, of course. I was already about to meet my end. I was delirious. I had no time to contemplate that being's nature. I was just terrified that after my death, my body would rot, decay, and eventually become nothing. That's why. Only one thought remained burning in my mind as I laid on the verge of death. I don't want to die. I want to extend the contract. Thus the thing that had lost its old shell known as the Holy Grail found a new home in me by forming a contract. I lost consciousness the very next moment. That is, I died. So what's left here is my corpse. A pitiful misconception repeating the same four days indefinitely, frolicking forever inside a walled garden. Had my last wish been, I want to be resurrected, I doubt he'd have been able to grant even that. He said it himself, the dead cannot revive the dead. To give form to the dead is a privilege reserved only for the living. That's why the most he can do is deceive the soul. He preserves the soul separated from the body, and for as long as the contract is in force, he will play this convenient dream with real life set as its stage. It's lavishly ornamented, a hollow like a cradle built in the depths of slumber. That's right, this never-ending Holy Grail War itself is what Bazet wished for, and that servant was my very own wish-granting Holy Grail. God, that's both poetic and ironic and sad. I finally get to the church several minutes behind Bazet. I knew this fleet-footed lady ought to seek refuge here. For Bezet Fragarak Remitz, this church is the last bit of support she can rely on. It's also the one place she should never set foot in. <laughs> Even though judging by her good mood earlier, I can expect to meet with instant death if I face her right now. I'm not the kind of servant who would abandon his master when, he sh when she's at her most desperate. Preparing myself for the possibility that my head is about to part ways with my body, I fumble in the darkness until my hands find the door. Inside the abandoned building, there is a woman feebly hanging her head. And at the altar, there's a silver flower in bloom. The woman doesn't answer. Looks like she calmed down, but guess she's still mad at me. Oh, yeah. まだご機嫌斜めですか。仕方ないな。特別サービスだ。本当は聞かれなきゃ答えねえんだが、ここは包み隠さず正直に世界の仕組みを説明してや。必要ありません。あなたが答えるべきことは二つだけだ。She cuts me short. There was no emotion in the words she shot at me. The woman has become a machine. In that case, there's no need for me to stay human either. Yes. Yes. That's fine then. She passes me as she heads out to the church. Out of the church. I can't believe it. Right now, I'm genuinely shocked. まで。ならいいってなんだ。ここまで来て振り出しに戻るのか。1日目に戻るのはいつものことでしょ。今更何を言うのです、あなたは。おお、わお。The この世界は死にかけだ。終わらないが続かない。そんなところに至って何にもならないじゃないか。それは外の世界も同じことです。私も私を取り巻く世界もそれを許す世界そのものもとっくに崩壊し出している。再生はない。あとはただ。
She's terrified. She's saying she's terrified of the inevitable death. Wow, you prefer re repetitive limbo and possibly losing your goddamn mind over just, you know, death itself? そうだ。もっと早く気がつけばよかった。裏切られたからって悲観することはない。元から私には何もなかった。あんな場所で生きるぐらいなら、4日間しか続かなくても、ここで生き続けた方がマシだ。That's wrong. Being weak is fine, but stalling in here is a bit of a waste. What was it that you struggled to breed up until now? こっちのがマシか。それこそ何を今更口にする？現実が厳しいなんてそんなことあんたは生まれた時からわかっていたんじゃないのか？She's pessimistic because she's weak. However, it's swallowing up that weakness, that dying and dying. That's the number one sign of being human. That's what the priest was saying. 話はここまでです。戦いを続けます。あなたは私のサーバントだ。私の方針に従っていればいい。But Zed is leaving the church. This is completely beyond my expectations. I thought that once she regained her memory, she would reject this silliness once and for all. こりゃ、もう一押し必要かな。Unfortunately, I can't really think of anything. Well, whatever. If the master intends to fight, the servants ought to just follow along. The one last push will be a job left for the hero of justice. There's a woman standing at the altar. She's so sensitive, she might just die if I get any closer. The distance between us now is the closest we can manage. It's not like we could ever talk to or touch each other to begin with. スカイマが自分から契約破棄したら魔術師のルールが壊れる。わかりました。確かにあなたの立場ではそれが最善でしょう。Her tone is cool and indifferent. Since neither one of us cares much for the other's existence, our conversations are never any longer than they need to be. However, for whatever reason, あなたに会いました。とても楽しそうだった。you are Shiro. And because this is a... I, uh, it's not a dream, it kind of is like a dreamlike state. He disguised himself as Shiro to... To live on in the other... I wouldn't say the other world, but... In that... In, in this particular universe's... Uh, or in these four days times realm. There you go. God, that was so hard for me to formulate. Anyway, it's making sense now. Also, Shiro couldn't touch her either. Like, every, I remember when he, as soon as he came near her, boom, got eaten. <laughs> she picks up something unnecessary. Uh, ma, now, the other question is, how did he inherit Shiro's memories? Is the, is the realm that they're in that good in terms of giving them their most desired aspects of what they, whatever they need? I give a vague reply. Whether I should show joy or envy, react with surprise or with sorrow. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, so you're not the real Shiro because this whole realm isn't real to begin with. Okay. The atmosphere is getting awkward, so let's get this over with. Oh yeah, you, you guys made that perfectly clear. I don't want to hear it. Her statement isn't even correct in the first place. Maybe not in the way we all hope, but... Possibly.
Ain't got no clue about bringing salvation while alive, unfortunately. Those that fell into despair can't be changed. So instead, you just need to switch that despair with something more meaningful. As one lies in their deathbed, being able to savor the illusion of a well-spent life in their final moments ought to bring happiness to any human. ねえ。今でも本当にこの願いを終わらせたい。当たり前だ。もう何億回繰り返したと思ってやがる。いい加減飽き飽きでお先真っ暗だよ。the woman goes upstairs. In the end, I'm the only one left in the chapel. Oh crap, okay, hold on a second. I think... Alright, so the reason why he's able to disguise himself as Shiro as well as have Shiro's memories is because everything that's happening whenever we play as Shiro is all a dream and whenever we go back to the Zet's uh, point of view, she wakes up from that dream. Okay. The only thing that doesn't make sense now, at least in my head, is how the hell does Bazette know those characters? A string of ordinary days that I already know everything there could possibly be to know about. That I already know everything there could be. Okay, he's already talking about it now. A world dimming ever so slightly with every new event. A world that I've never personally experienced, but where everything is known to me at the same time. Oh, duh! Okay, he's Angra Mainyu. He experienced Shiro's uh, world to begin with. Okay, alright, everything's coming up. Okay. Everything's coming up. Everything's coming up. I'm getting it now. Except for, uh... Oh, no. Maybe since Bezette's dreaming it, Angra Mainyu's providing those dreams to her too. Okay, that could also make sense. Okay. There are still some gaps in it, but I'm sure even those are just worthless bits of daily life. Well, anyway. This has been a very fruitful episode. Being criticized for lying doesn't put me in a good mood, that's for sure. Just what does that woman think I am anyway? I'm giddy right now. Cradle Hollow. Okay. Mm, bridge? No. Oh, church. No signs of people in the plaza. Da 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 da. Uh, this is something red already. Oh, we're going for a third time. In the end, I'll go visit the church. I can't remember how many times I've dragged myself here. The rules of the four days do not apply here. I can meet and part with her however many times I wish. The two of us would eventually run out of things to talk about though. New elements did not enter here, so it's only natural that I would someday fill in all of the events. I come to the church to fill the blank spaces, and this will be the last time. Visits after this one will mean little to me. <sighs> It's not that I'm tired, but I've run out of vigor. What I need is momentum, not rest. Let's go produce a little energy. The performance was rather short this time. After expecting so much, it's a bit of a letdown. But seeing as it did give me a little of the energy I was after, I guess it was fine. The grinding heat in my chest feels good. And they do say it's bad for your health if you don't get angry once in a while. <sighs> However, I'm not satisfied with what follows afterwards. Karen, who has finished her performance again, stands in front of me silent. It may be just me, but she looks to be in an even worse mood than before. You could even say she's standing imposingly. <sighs> The cloudiness matches this church. Rather than piercing sunlight that makes you feel alive, it is this deathly grayness that matches the church so well. The church itself has a long history, built way before the war. It was renovated after incurring heavy damage during the Third Holy Grail War. A person named Kotomine Rise was dispatched as a qualified candidate who was particularly familiar with the land. He was the father of Karen's predecessor, Kotomine Kire. <sighs> Kotomine Rise, despite his young age, performed the role of supervisor in the Third Holy Grail War. In recognition of his achievements, he was entrusted with this church. 
With plenty of experience under his belt, he strove for an even better outcome in the Fourth Holy Grail War, but died due to unforeseen circumstances. It wasn't unforeseen. The local noble Magus he assisted suffered unexpected defeat and the war ended in chaos. The Fourth Holy Grail War. The battle that caused Shinto's great fire. The third one was 50 years before, roughly around the same time as the World War, and the fourth one was just as the newly modernized economy was about to stagnate. 